Hello students, in this video we are starting a new chapter that is the chapter number second that is solution. So in this video we will be doing the introduction part of solutions. So let us recall the points which you have already learned. Most of the substances that we come across in our day to day life are not pure substance. Most of these are mixtures containing two or more pure substances like the air. The air around us is a mixture of gases primarily oxygen and nitrogen. The water we drink contains a very small amount of various salts present in it. And the various substances like milk, jaggery, sherbet, drink etc are also the examples of mixtures. Our blood is a mixture of many different components. These are plasma, white blood cells, platelets, red blood cells. And we come across the different alloys which we will be using in our day to day life. The alloys such as brass, bronze, stainless steel etc which we use in our daily life are also mixtures. So as we have already classified the matter into the categories pure substances and mixtures. The mixtures are of homogeneous and heterogeneous. So the different examples of homogeneous mixtures in our day to day life is shown here. Solutions are the universal importance in the medicines which is also a mixture. Solutions which have importance in the medicines, industries and in the laboratory. All our body fuels are actually solutions. And many medicines dissolved in the suitable non-aqueous solvents such as alcohols are given to the patient. So let us go in the detail of about the solution. First let us define a solution. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances in a single phase and one of the constituents is regarded as a solvent and the other one is regarded as a solute. So how you can identify the solute and solvent in a solution? That is the component which is present in the larger quantity that is called as a solvent and the component which is present in the smaller quantity is called as a solute. So depending upon the number of components, we can classify the solution into following types. The solution which contain two components are called as binary solution and the solution which contain three components are called as ternary solution and the four component solution are called as quaternary solution. So for our simplicity we will consider only the binary solution in which the component which is in the larger quantity is called as solvent and the component which is present in the smaller quantity is called as solute. So take an example of uh, preparing a solution that is when you the sugar that is actually the solute which is dissolved in the solvent that is water we have taken as a solvent here. So the two components uh, which we are taking in order to prepare the solution that is sugar and the water where the sugar is the solute and water is the solvent. So when the solute is made to dissolve in the solvent uh, we get a solution of uh, that is called as sugar solution. So the solution is prepared by two components here that's why it is an example of binary solution. We can also classify the solution on the basis of the physical state of the solute and solvent. This is the table 2.1 which is given in the textbook. So on the basis of the physical state of solute and solvent, we can say that the solutions are of following type. The first one is the solute and solvent both are gases if solute and the solvent both are the gases. So the example is actually the mixture of two gases 
they form homogeneous mixture if we take an example of a the solution which in which the sol solute is a liquid but the solvent is a gas so the example is chloroform mixed with a nitrogen gas next is a solid in gas that is camphor in the nitrogen gas so here the larger component is actually gases so these are the three types of gases solution we are called it as a gases solution because the larger component is actually gases here so such type of solution are called as gases solution next if the component that is which is in the larger quantity that is called as a solvent when it is in the liquid state then it is called as liquid solution example gas in liquid that is actually the oxygen gas is dissolved in the water liquid in liquid that means here both the solute and the solvent are the liquid the very good example for this one is uh, dissolving alcohol in the water here alcohol is also a liquid in state water is also in liquid state so liquid is made to dissolve in the liquid that is ethanol is dissolved in the water that is an example of liquid solution the next one is a solid dissolved in the liquid that is very common example of preparing the solution that is salt dissolved in the water or any other solute like glucose or sugar dissolved in the water that is solid is dissolved in the liquid next is a solid solution solid solution in which the larger component is actually solid in state so gas is dissolved in the solid example is solution of hydrogen in the palladium next liquid in the solid that is amalgam of mercury with sodium and solid solid that is actually the example is the two solid like copper is dissolved in the gold so these are the different examples of the solution that is three category we have classified the solution into three types depending upon the physical state of solvent that is gases solution liquid solution and solid solution so we'll be discussing about the solution in detail in the next video so this is all about this video have a nice day